You can see I'm wearing safety glasses, I'm wearing gloves, so you know something cool is about to happen. On today's show, we're answering the question, what is polylevel? Now, polylevel is just a unique formulation of a polyurethane foam, and it's used in concrete repair to lift and level sinking concrete slabs. Now, polyurethane foam can take all sorts of different forms. You see it in spray foam insulation, you see it in rigid panel insulation, you can see it probably in the cushions of the chairs that you're sitting on right now. Those are some pretty different types of products, right? So polyurethane foam can form lots of different uh, types of things, and it's done by mixing two different liquids. One is the A side, which is called the diisocyanite side, and the other is the R side, which is the resin side. So the A side is largely gonna be the same from product to product. But depending on what you want the polyurethane foam to do, you're gonna be changing what happens here. This is the resin side. We're gonna add things like catalysts, blowing agents, which is gonna change the speed of the reaction, the strength of the material that it makes. Whatever you want the polyurethane foam to do, this is what you're gonna be changing. So we're gonna take both of these pieces and mix them in this bucket, and we'll see what happens. So when these two components are mixed together at the right temperature, they expand 29 times and they create a very lightweight, strong material called polylevel. So that expansive pressure actually can lift concrete and hold it in place. It actually also creates a lot of heat. So you can tell this already has some strength, but it takes about 20 minutes for it to gain its full strength. Now how about we look at how strong it is? First, Let's make all of this go away. Now, I just need myself a product sample. Ah, perfect. So look at the size of this cube. This is the same material that you watched react on this table right in front of me. And this whole thing weighs less than an ounce and a half, but it's still very strong. And let me show you how strong it is. I'm gonna stack some weights on this thing. So that's 300 pounds and I'm working up a sweat. I actually, I'm sure I could put a lot more weight on this, but I think I'm a little bit worried about this thing falling over on somebody. So we're just gonna call that good. So you can see this material is very, very strong and perfectly capable of supporting a concrete slab. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Of course, I like when you hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, ask a question, do all those things. Just make sure you share our fun content with everybody. So I'm Kyle, this is Ask an Engineer. I'll see you next time. I'm out.